SK68. This is In Your Interest, Sunday morning. Good morning, everyone. Hope you were off to a good day. I am Bill Roller. We are going to be talking this morning with a dermatologist. You know, there is nothing perhaps more sad than looking at a child with a deformity. Perhaps uh, even sadder would be a child with a correctable deformity, and that's uh, going to be our first topic this morning with Dr. Sandy S. Milgram, uh, an adult and pediatric dermatologist from East Brunswick, New Jersey. Um, that is the case, isn't it, doctor? It's, it's almost more sad when you see a, a correctable problem on a person. Uh, what would prevent a parent or a young person from seeking help? Well, the biggest problem, Bill, is that most people aren't aware of the recent advancements in uh, medicine, and therefore they'll, uh, the child will have a birthmark. The uh, uh, parents will uh, uh, not know where, or not, that even that the treatments are available, and so that the uh, treatment uh, is not afforded to the child, then the child goes untreated. In most, uh, as you refer to, birthmarks in children, are them are most correctable? Well, a lot of them are now, and uh, that's where the problem arises, because uh, 20 years ago, uh, most of the time, these things were just covered over, and people were told to ignore them. But now, and I'm most thinking mostly of what I, I believe used to be called port wine stains or spots. Yes, port wine stains are probably the most commonly seen uh, birthmark, and uh, in fact, they're seen in about uh, three out of a thousand. Uh, young children. That's quite high. Mm -hmm. And they are definitely treatable. And the, the, the most important thing is that the treatments have to start at a very young age. Why is that? Well, we find that the blood vessels are up closest to the skin at the, uh, the younger the child. And therefore, we start treatments at about three weeks of age. You mentioned uh, the advances in technology over the past 20 years. Is it a case of people thinking about A, pain, and B, lengthy procedures which have changed? Yeah, well, the major uh, difference is the fact that we're able to do it without any scarring. And um, treatments, uh, doctors used to burn these things off. They used to freeze them. They used to do uh, flap surgery with big sutures and, and what have you, admissions to the hospital. But now, uh, it, with these new lasers, in particular the Candela Pulse Dye Laser, it's able to be done in the doctor's office, all under local anesthesia. And after several treatments, most of these lesions are dramatically improved, and a small percentage of them are completely cleared up. 